Dave is the best chainsaw carver in the world. Dave Tremco has been carving chainsaw carvings for 30 years. In 2004, Jay Leno put him on The Tonight Show to demonstrate his skills. He's up in Arlington, he's legendary, and he has brought in a chainsaw carving of a spike gnome for your garden. Uh, now, we'll post these on the website, bobrivers.com. We may end up with a Spike and Joe one, too. And uh, I got to say, this uh, I, I caught a glimpse while you were out. They want to unveil it for you, Spike. Okay. I got to say, it captures the essence. Is it raw, hewn you. you are a wooden man. Yes. Trust me. Uh, and, uh, Dave, welcome to the Bob Rivers Show. How are you? Hey, thanks for having us on. All right. That's our pleasure. Um, like a lot of carvers work with... You know, stone, and, uh, and and a lot of people work with ceramic. Why did you choose wood? And can you tell me what what time in the first age you looked at a piece of wood? And did you whittle at first before you got? You didn't get to a chainsaw when you were well. A kid. Well, I grew up around chainsaws and cutting firewood because I grew up in Alaska. Oh, and uh, you learn at a young age to run a chainsaw up there. And like, how young? Like, uh, like, do you go right from nursing to chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs> From nipple to... <laughs> <laughs> no, not that young. Okay, so you don't let a six or an eight-year-old... Oh, my dad had a plywood cutout for me for when I was about four years old, so okay. I, I was wanting to saw even then. But you would see your dad with the chainsaw. Oh, yeah. Did he emphasize safety first? Um, yeah, to a certain extent. <laughs> how many <laughs> limbs, how many extent. fingers does he have? I still got all uh, the fingers and toes. But your dad? Um, yeah, he does, too. Okay, good. Wow, you guys are the best. So, uh, and then when you started car, when you started, it's basically at first, it's just about heating, staying warm. How cold did it get in Alaska where you were at? Well, it gets it gets really cold out there, and so you're you're cutting firewood all summer to burn in the winter. Well, um, how I cold? Just, like 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 tw- zero? Twenty, 20 below. Twenty easily. below. Yeah, mm-hmm. So we were wussing out yesterday about it being in the teens. Well, I actually got the gloves out yesterday, so it Ooh. was it was a little chilly. Yeah, even for you. Okay, <laughs> and then did you uh, did you at some point start carving statues into the into it by and did your parents say, "Hey, what are you doing? You need to be cutting up the wood," or did they encourage you? Well, by the time I was a teenager and got my driver's license, I needed gas money, and I found out that I could do chainsaw art and trade the wood carvings for gas money and. Mm. Just took off from there and never have stopped. Did the Eskimo chicks think you were hot, too, <laughs> working a chainsaw like that? Well, yeah, there's one behind every tree, but the problem is there is no trees up there. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yes, Joe. That's why we moved down here, because there's lots of trees here. In Does chainsaw art sell in Alaska? I, I would think I would think your kind of thing, if you took it somewhere south of here, it would, the, the further away you got from trees, the, the better it would sell, actually. They sell all over the place. I have them as far north as Fairbanks and as far south as La Jolla, California. Mm. And um, they're just, they're all over the place. How did you get on The Tonight Show? Well, I was in Chugiak, and hey. Um, what, where were you again? Chugiak, Alaska, okay. just north of Anchorage there. And uh, the Tom Green was working with The Tonight Show crew at the time, and they, were, they had sent him on an all 50 states talent search. Alphabetically, they went to Alabama, then to Alaska. So you were second. <laughs> well, he, they pulled over and had seen some carvings I'd done, and he asked if I did anything besides bears and eagles and so i said well what do you want me to carve out jay leno for you and pretty soon i had one carved out for him and, so uh, this is the same way worked. you got on our show basically pretty much yeah <laughs> that's funny and Let so me jay get my foot in the door and here so it did comes. you exaggerate <laughs> the jaw because you don't like when you're about to carve jay leno you don't want to piss him off by doing what cartoonists do to him it on the other hand it was a little bit of a caricature but you want it uh, to be funny yeah it was great yeah. it, he liked it he, he, did. he still got it somewhere in his garage did you prepare it ahead of time and unveil it on the tonight show i did we i did one in alaska that was the, what got me the gig and then we did it again live on air during you did it live mm-hmm. how long now wait a minute that's eight, a that speed sawing 8 minutes flat and it was only during the commercial breaks during the last half of the the show okay so we go to commercial mm-hmm. and you keep sawing. Go to commercial sawing. break and I keep sawing. What kind of Jay Leno can you do in eight minutes? Well, it was just a it was a large face, big old chin like a cinder block, and the squinty <laughs> little eyes, you know. Yeah, you had a speed version design, <laughs> but you also have one that's statue quality. Well, this spike thing, by the way, I personally can't imagine how you do this with a chainsaw. It's statue quality. 
it's, it's amazing. It's just what I've learned to do, and if this is what I have to do to not hang sheetrock, then that's what I'm <laughs> going to do it, right? Is a, is a, like a, using the same chainsaw you used to chop down trees, or are there now chainsaws specifically right. for are you the like, art? Are you like Terry Fader, like with the puppets? Do you have a, a chainsaws actually, for all the different faces? We have a, a series of saws. I have about yeah. six of them, okay. starting with a large when working down to real, real tiny The stuff ones. for the little chin work. Mm-hmm. How was Spike's beard to do? That was, uh, that was a little hairy. <laughs> As it should be. Yeah. Well All played, right. sir. Are we ready for the big unveiling? I think we are. Do you, give me some dramatic something or other. Here's the dramatic music and perhaps a drum roll, too. Luciana's here. She's got the video. We'll post this at BobRivers.com. It's covered up with a jacket right now. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you just tuned in, Dave Trenko from Arlington, one of the world-renowned chainsaw artists, did this. Ready? Three, two, one. Whip it off. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. That'll a, scare the aphids <laughs> off your tomato plants. It sure will. It's a spike squatch. That's yeah. like three yeah. feet tall. It's creepy and it just like Spike is. That's big. It's awesome. You look like the, it, though, don't you? Look at you? the power that thing possesses. It's b- beautiful. It's quite a piece of work. Okay. We asked you how you wanted imposing, and you were in the rooting stance. You said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let go. You made it just like that photo, yeah. <laughs> how long does that take to do? Um, that took most of a day. Okay. <laughs> most of the a day. It's a lot one of work. Day. Mm-hmm. One day. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, it's not as nightmarish what? as the little ceramic. What? I, what? I, love. I like the ceramic I know you one did, as <laughs> well. I really do. I too, but is that cedar or what kind it's, of wood yeah, is it? It's western red cedar. Mm. You know, Spike's got an ego as big as Texas. Thank you. And now he has two statues. <laughs> you know, he has of two myself. two monuments <laughs> to himself. Uh, that, that one smells a lot better than you do. <laughs> That's that a wonderful fragrance. Question, how many people say do me? Um, there's a... Uh, then a few. Uh, most of them are like, "Can you do my my pet?" Right. And we do a, we do a lot of that. Uh, Jill has an event called Pet Palooza that she's going to tell us about here uh, coming up next weekend. And Jill is your agent, right? She's right. your she's your rep because Jill she runs handles a the business, business called the things. Second Street Cabin at ten ten Second Street in Snohomish. Okay, Jill. Um, uh, like typically, I mean, when people think chainsaw carvings, they think bears and eagles, right? Those right. are the two most common things, right? And how many people, what percentage is that, do you think? Half? I think half. There's a lot that like everything. They have a a big assortment. You have to come and see. Hey, I would imagine, like you don't do a Buddha, do you? Um, I I haven't done one. You've never done a Buddha. There's a number of us that work at the cabin there. And uh, um, for instance, Patrick Canavan, Jerry Henniger, Tomas Verba, Jesse Perdum. Lurie These are all McGee. chainsaw carvers. Mm-hmm. Do you have chainsaw like a? Are carving. you like their master and their apprentices? Yes, actually, yeah, wow. he is. He would Dude, my, myself and my wife are right in the fray with him on the weekends. It, it gets pretty noisy out there, wow. and everybody has a different style. And one of us is bound to do. Yeah. You could you could get you a do whatever you want. Hey, Eric, doesn't this remind you a little of Bali? Yeah, because we don't have you know in Bali. You go to different neighborhoods, and there's woodworkers, there's artists. There's silversmiths, and they all live in their little village. And then there's a there's one who's like a guru, and then they have all these people working under them. And you're he's a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> in, in Bali, they don't have a word for art in the local language. Everybody has to do something, whether it's music or dance or really? carving. It's yeah. considered normal. It's not considered a, like a special thing. Now this pet palooza does that mean you would you could do my pug for instance? You're doing people's mm-hmm. pets, carvings of people's pets. Yeah. Absolutely. His wife is a really good uh, artist too. She does a lot of dogs and cats. Smaller the dog, the less the charge. My pet's yeah. only about it. He's not even. Joe's a looking to boy make a bargain. No hey, yeah. I would love. I mean, the little curly tail. <laughs> I'm already thinking be, for Christmas. Yeah. You're probably yeah. booked solid. There's right? strictly no. Um, pugs. Actually, There's we probably do room. have time for. You a have a little time for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think by the time you leave this room, we'll have taken <laughs> yeah, all your time. Yeah, I could just, I'd love Pugs that. are easy because the flat f- surface of the That's wood when you carve it's easy. It's already, flat face is yeah, a, a lot face. easier yeah. than a Doberman or something. <laughs> Uh, that's why that's why you have her, by the way, because everybody tries to tell you how easy <laughs> your job is. Easy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, well, this is a beautiful thing. Let's yeah. let's yeah. be a big round of applause for yeah. Dave Trunko. I like thank you. I like how Spike the wooden statue's hands are just wide enough to put a toilet paper roll between them. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. This is really going to be a, a fine addition to my. Oh, is that what you're going to do? Couple couple of, a little couple of. Oh, wait a minute, that's a, you, the artist is right here. Oh, he can hear you. That's, that's insulting. Hey, that <laughs> would be a really? nice. Way. Actually, he's laughing. That'd be a nice use of the art. It might might inspire a couple of orders. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do it for the picture, just for fun. All right, Dave. Thank you very very much. If anybody wants to get in touch with Dave, uh, Jill, how do they uh, how do they reach you? Well, we've got a uh, website. The Second Street Cabin, chainsawcarvers.com, and a Facebook. All right. Same. We'll put you up at bobrivers.com. Thank you, Bob. All right. Dave and Jill, amazing stuff. All right. What are crocodiles?